Hey YouTubers, I wanted to share a quick uh, or give us a quick shout out for those of you who might be considering taking the CompTIA SYO 401 Security Plus certification exam. Took it a couple of days ago for my first time and passed it. And so I wanted to share, uh, like some other folks have done uh, and helped me, I wanted to share what it was that, that I did to prepare and how that might be of assistance to you all. I've uh, watched a lot of Professor Messer uh, over the last year or so. I've been uh, in this IT position now for uh, just shy of two years and was required to get the A certification. This was the one I chose. But uh, uh, did a lot of Professor Messer and really appreciated that. Did a lot of Eli, the computer guy. Um, and one of the folks in our department gave my team a copy of uh, Daryl Gibson's book on Security Plus. I went out on my own and picked up a copy of the, uh, uh, it'll come to me, Conklin White picked up their, their book and did a lot of reading in both of those books. But what really, really uh, put me over the top in terms of my learning process was Mike Myers. Uh, you've probably seen uh, ads on as you watch YouTube or if you're looking at videos about IT, you've probably seen ads for Udemy, U-D-E-M-Y, I think that's how they pronounce it. And honestly, they were just annoying as they could be for a long time. And finally, I said, okay, 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 I'll do it. So I went on Udemy, and they actually have three guys on there that are offering a 401 course. I went ahead and purchased them all. They're super inexpensive, so it's ridiculous not to get them. Um but the one that I started off with was Mike Myers. Shout out to Mike Myers, you're awesome dude. Uh, and uh, listen, in fact, I, honestly, I never got all the way through. I probably still had about 10% of the course to listen to. It's not a long course, and it comes in short short little modules, you know, 8 to 12 minutes a piece. So you can listen to it on your cell phone while you're driving. You can listen to it, uh, you know, if you're sitting in the doctor's office waiting to do something. Uh, you can watch it on your computer. I mean, you can, you know, Chromecast it up on the TV, whatever you want. But Myers is awesome. And I got his book. I found uh, found his book because they're getting ready to switch from 401 to 501. The test is going from 401 to 501, like in June or July. So right now is a really great time to get the uh, 401 under your belt. And then you've got three years during which you have to continue doing your recertifications. And uh, my plan right now is to go for the CASP. Uh, and I've got to put, I think, another two years in before I take that one. And that's okay. I don't, I'm not, not eager to, for that yet. Um, but, I mean, it was super, super exciting to get through the test and see that my score was in excess of 750, which is what it needed to be. Um, but I wanted to, to just share this with everybody because both watching Mike Myers and then reading his book along either either while I was watching it, it was usually didn't I would take notes while I was watching it uh, and then I would read the book separately uh, so it was a real good reinforcer and about the test um, I got through with the test and I didn't feel like it had been real hard but I also didn't feel like it had been real easy uh, it was mine was not 90 questions which is the maximum uh, currently it was 72 questions and uh, one of the things that everybody says is uh, ignore the simulations, go past the simulations, and then come back. Because at the end, they give you a review screen, and as long as you flag it to come back to it, um, it, it will show you at the end, it'll show you questions that you either flagged for review, or it'll show you unanswered questions, and then you can just go to them one at a time. Um, and when you start, in my case, I don't know if this is true acro across, the, across the board, if this is the way... Um, what's uh CompTIA does it for everybody but in my case I had 30 minutes at the beginning to read through uh all of their uh rules and regulations and everything and then 90 minutes to do the test and then there was another 15 minute survey at the end they took 15 minutes and required that you do this survey before they tell you whether or not you passed um and so in the in the uh, Daryl Gibson book on page 150 there's this awesome chart of all of these different uh port numbers, port numbers and what goes to that port and what, what, what have you. Um, and I had been studying that chart and memorizing that chart and writing that chart down from memory for a long time. I mean, for, for over a year. And so the first thing I did was write that chart down 
And then the second thing I did, there's there's this fantastic, and I wish I could remember the link, but there's this fantastic, about a 16-minute video here on YouTube, not mine, um, that goes through, is like the magic number for how to do subnetting. And to be, be honest with you, I spent a lot of time on subnetting, but there weren't any questions on subnetting. So it was like, okay, you know, I don't know. It's great to know. And eventually I'm sure I'll have to know it in terms of my professional position, but uh, didn't need to know it for the test. And that's okay. I was okay with that. Um, and people ask, you know, what were the questions about? It's like, you know, the, the, the book alone is 500 and some odd pages. Uh, you know, the courses, there's, in fact, I purchased three different courses, but I never only listened to any of them except Mike Myers. Uh, but Udemy is a great resource, uh, made a world of difference for me. Um, and so to answer the question about what, what were the questions about, they were about everything. It's like some about security, which is I'm an identity and access management uh, analyst. Uh, some of those, there were some about uh, physical security. There were some about networking. There was the uh, spanning tree protocol came up. So it's just, you know, know your protocols. And uh, there wasn't that much. I didn't, uh, there really wasn't anything about that, that I had to know about the OSI or the TCP IP models. Uh, not that I, I mean, I do know them, but, uh, but uh, it, it wasn't, there wasn't a lot about that. So anyway, uh, for all of those of you that are considering taking it or need to take it, God bless you. Good luck to you. And uh, check out Udemy. I, I urge you to. Uh, also, now, if you're in the San Antonio area, I know coming up here in another, maybe just next week, this is this is the 8th of February right now of, of 2018. And uh, coming up here in another week or so, the Alamo Community College District is offering a four-week course. It's actually going to take five weeks because they have one week for spring break in the middle of it. Uh, but an evening course out at their Northeast Lake View, Northeast Lake View College, I think is what it's called, out close to uh, Randolph. It's on Kitty Hawk. Um, and they'll be offering this thing. It's 415 bucks. Oh, additionally, for your voucher, if you are in school, if you have an EDU email address, Go to CompTIA. You can get the voucher for two hundred and nine bucks, as opposed to three thirty. I also found discounted vouchers online for as little as two hundred and forty nine dollars. So do not spend three hundred and thirty dollars for the voucher if you can at all avoid it. Uh, what else? Uh, that's about it. Um, I had my plan. It was I'm going to take the test on the sixth. I originally planned for the twenty ninth of January, but I was going to take it on the sixth. If I didn't make it, I was going to take that course at the Alamo Community College District. Uh, and then retake the test later. Uh, the Lord was on my side. So anyway, good luck to all of you. And uh, just just know that it's uh, it's okay. You'll do good. See ya.